Hey guys, while I don't shallow, Nigerian army said Nigeria is at war. Talking about the insecurity, they said the bandits, uh, what is that they call them? Terrorists, Boko Haram, they have finally taken positions in Nigeria. They don't take over the country. Even they themselves, they don't tire for the matter. The defense headquarters has officially declared that Nigeria to be at war and is calling on citizens to unite with the military in a collective effort to secure victory. Now the question is, how did we get to this? What happened? President Muhammad Buhari can never be forgotten in a hurry. Yes, because he 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 have all the opportunity on it to bring these people down but we were busy pampering them today they don't grow past they don't grow past past them because i don't want to say now us that they know how they take waka connect themselves to these people now these people now they don't grow past them Nigerians, if you hear within Nigerian and we don't talk, you will understand that Nigeria is at war through truth. I beg, if you are just joining us for the first time, subscribe to this channel, share this video, let everybody understand what is happening. All this kind of news is not what you can just get. Oh, you keep quiet. No. We are talking about life. We are talking about safety. We are talking about how we can save ourselves. Because as it is right now, the way Nigerian military is talking, Nigerians, we are on our own. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for stopping by. The Defense Headquarters has officially declared Nigeria to be at war and is calling on citizens to unite with the military in a collective effort to secure victory. According to Major General Edward Baba, the Director of Defense Media Operations, provided updates during a the weekly media briefing revealing significant achievements in the past month. In the fight against terrorism, the troops have accomplished notable Feats including the elimination of 266 terrorists, the arrest of 463, and the successful rescue of 116 kidnapped hostages throughout January. General Edward emphasized the importance of unity, stating, Our nation is at war and wars can be complex and ugly. He called upon citizens to recognize their role in this conflict and urge a, a collaborative approach to address the ongoing security challenges in Nigeria. The most dangerous battle is fighting against unknown enemies within and among the populace. Who are these enemies now we are fighting? Who are these enemy? Because they are unknown to Nigerians. But those people who are fighting the war, they know who they are. It's a pity. They know the enemies. Take the war to those sponsoring terrorism. You know them as top military men. One key strategy is fighting criminals, is cutting off their source of funds, their arms, supplies, and you know, so why, what are they now waiting? You know, this is of, it's very funny when you, when you just sit down and think about this. They'll tell you that they know those people who are behind, you know, uh, uh, these bandits and uh, all that. They are, they are highly placed people, connected, well connected people. But they cannot just go after them just because they just cannot go after them. And you are saying you are fighting war, but you know the roots of the war. You understand? If you want to stop war, 
you cut off food supply, you cut off ammunition supply, then those people will suffer. You have eventually stopped the war. But what Nigerian government is doing, they are joking. No? They are just playing around, just pretending to fight the war. If they want to end this war, according to them that there is war, they know how to end it. Yes. Who are those sponsoring these people? Because these people who are doing what they are doing, they are not getting their weapons from heaven. Their weapons, not they fall from heaven. They live inside the bush. And they, they are feeding very well. They get everything they want. No be people, I mean, no be person, they go, they give them. So Nigerian governments have to face the reality by, you know, targeting the root of this war and end it and stop um, what is it called involving nigerians you understand i don't know how nigerians we do or we go about this now we cannot defend ourselves because it said is against the law if we carry arms to defend ourselves and that will lead to anarchy that one they one side so even the terrorists know that we are helpless because those people who feel that they are going to help us may not even come to our aid and we don't even have what it takes to fight back so they are going to continue to come after nigerians that is the truth but those who knows how to go about it they just they float on the water we just have to stop deceiving ourselves if this country wants to end this war, according to them, that there is war already, they know how to go about it. Allow the poor masses breathe. So guys, what's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.